Pretty good opener. His hip did come off the floor a little bit quick there. All right, I have one more question for you. Let's hear it. Until people start sending us in good ones. Who is the heaviest person to clean and jerk triple body weight? It would have been, I believe, at 67.5. Yeah. That's correct. And I think it was... I'm running through my head now. He's a <laughs> Bulgarian. Yes. It was that in the 1988. No, I believe it was before that. It was pre-88. Yeah. So. I know that this person was a 75 in 88. <laughs> I, I've, I've actually, I'm trying to remember the name. I believe you've told me this before. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the name. It was, uh, oh, this is a tough one. Was it, it? Was it Petrov? No. no it would have been. Uh, well, it's either Angle Genchev. Yes. Yeah. It's Genchev? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm not going to ask Mug as though I knew that. I, I just clicked on his name and I just saw that it said that. Oh. Heaviest of the six ever yeah, to I do it. I, I knew it was a 67 and a half, obviously. Yeah. It couldn't have been a, any lighter than that, but. Yeah, the the generation of triple body weight clean and jerks is. Well, we saw one as recently as 2019. Yeah, Alm Chol. Yeah. Good on Alm. Yeah, <laughs> remarkable old, uh, lift. He's retired, Trump. obviously, since then. The yeah. whole team has. And what did he do? He competed in the 55s, didn't he? I think he did 166, 167, something like that. Yeah. One sixty six, yeah. That's what he did. That record will not be beaten. Especially now that that category's not an Olympic category. Yusuf Kolar. Second attempt. Oh, Ooh. can he hold on? Good correction. You could see that his hips come off the floor as in the start there a little bit fast. That's going to leave that bar just a hair forward of him as he passes the thigh. So critical that you bring all things together right off the ground. Just a hair forward, but beautiful adjustment. Oh, yeah. Somehow holds that. A lot of wobbling as he internally rotates. Hips shoot up a little bit. And wait forward in the catch. Well, he's got one more lift. We'll see if Zaza stays at 158 on his opener. He's actually he's coming out here. Yeah. 166 is Lomtadzi's best. Opening a little bit light. Beautiful lift, easy opening yeah. snatch. He's a silver medalist from the European Junior Championships 2021. Packed house for this session as well. We can see the bleachers are filling up. I oh actually see. Word. This will be the busiest so far yeah. with Al Gasparian. Almost to the top row filled. Yeah. We think that's it's probably. probably 40 more. How many rows are there? 
Yeah, maybe 50. Maybe 50. And we're probably up at about 40, over 40 full. So this is the youngest competitor in the session. Yeah. Still a junior. Honor and Mershi. Taking a 160 opening attempt. He's not going to receive a warm welcome from the crowd, as uh, none of the Turkish men have. Mm. He won his last international, the International Naim Suleiman Oli tournament. Snatched 166, so uh, that's his best ever. Oh, yeah. Gets way over the bar yeah. in the first pole there, but. And then way behind the bar after contact. Really overextends at the top. Not sure how those glasses stay on. That's a good. That's a good observation. You, when you lift it, did you lift with your glasses on? Or I only started wearing glasses about, I don't know, nine months ago, probably. Oh, okay. So no, I ne never wore them. I find for these competitions, looking at the platform and then looking up at the, um, at the board, I just need premium vision. Yes. <laughs> Petros Petrosian. 160 as well. Oh, very strong opener as well. He's going to be battling it out. Yeah. For sure. Against the Turkish competitor. Although Petrosian's got a very big clean and jerk, 210 as his opener. Mm -hmm. We'll see if he stays. I don't think we've actually seen any of the declared openers for those last four to five lifters no. really hold. Marcin Nizebski. Very good opener, too. Yep. A lot of made lifts so far. You know, just like the Turkish athlete, Ona Dimitri, they both seem to slow down a little bit just as they make start making contact and then huge acceleration as they finish that knee extension. It's a great lift. Yeah, great mobility, especially for a 109 kilo athlete as well. Yeah, more general mass to squash down into bottom positions. Final attempt now for Joseph. Oh, leaves it out in front. Jumps away from the top a little bit there, but he's still on the board. He said to us that he, uh, he had an Erasmus, so he went away for a year to study in Belgium. And uh, on the year abroad, because he was in Belgium, he gained at least 10 kilos. <laughs> and he said all of it fat. Uh, so <laughs> certainly not the uh, ideal strategy. No. But I think we can all relate. Yeah. Speaking of which, actually, we've been out on the town here a few we times have. in Eurovan. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful... Back out tonight as well, I believe. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful city. It is. A lot of uh, very nice cafes and parks and just kind of a general vibe of Good people food. out and about. Yeah. yeah. It's been a very hospitable place. One seems very friendly. And they sell beer by the liter. Yes. Yeah, they were trying to get us to buy two liters each yesterday. But that seemed uh, a, a bit, liter too far. A bit much. When we have A sessions to commentate on the next day. Perhaps on Sunday. Uh, 
Radoslav is a massive man. Towers over his competitors. You see there's a little bit of a deceleration as the bar reaches his hips. With that low hip position, as he starts to get the bar past his knee, his knees don't extend as much, and so that, that rebend and readjustment under the bar takes a little bit longer, and that longer time allows the bar to decelerate a little bit more before it reaches his hips, so doesn't quite get that final acceleration yeah. at the end of the pull. Oh, and that jumps up to 164. So back to Marcin, he'll also bump up, and it will likely come back to Radoslav to finish that lift again. What does he need to do? Radoslav, he's got to get over the bar a little bit better yeah. as he passes the knee and really allow himself to accelerate during that transition so he doesn't lose bar speed. It's a tough thing to do because he's probably trained that way for a long time. Right. We'll watch, though, and see if he can make a correction. So he's actually going to go up a couple of kilos, which will bring out Zaza Lamtadze to 163 kilos. He's probably had the most comfortable looking opener so far. Technically very proficient, didn't look too heavy. So he would expect to make this three kilos under his best. The young lifter, just 22 years of age. Beautiful snatch. Yeah. Very wow. nice. That was very good. So a pretty decent start to this session. Seven made lifts, two missed. A senior snatch record, of course. Way out of reach, 199 kilos. That was a world record when it was done by Simon Matarosian. World record now, 200 kilos, though, by China's Yang Zhe, who I notice we haven't seen in a few years now. Yeah, he hasn't been around. 163. Watch the hips. A little better. There's a little uh, last minute little tuck of arm bend. Yeah, I think he just bends his arms. Just as he makes, le makes contact just before. That really late, but it's, uh, it is there. Yeah, that arm bend is possibly compensation for that lack of speed. Tries to bring it into the hip and accelerate it there. close, but he's just not getting his final extension there at the end. One of the benefits we've seen from having all of this slow-mo content of athletes over the last few years is be able to acknowledge and look at the different types of technique and the different changes in arm angle in the lifts. And what we've seen is that plenty of the world's best weightlifters have a little bit of bend in their arms as they pull off the floor. Not all of them, of course, but... Lu Jin cleans with bent arms. Lash Talakadze cleans with bent arms. And uh, once it's in slow mo, it's it's pretty undeniable. The difference, really, though, is that they don't they don't lose that bend at all after contact, and it doesn't tend to slow them down at all. They still manage to accelerate nicely. Yeah, it's interesting to be able to observe the different body types as well. Obviously, Radoslav's one of the tallest athletes here in this session and he has a, a little bit unique style yeah we'll see if that can be successful on his third here he looks heavier than 109 to me yeah it's got a relatively muscular upper body He 
has on multiple occasions competed as a light super heavyweight. That's oh, the one. Much better. On his last attempt to stay in the competition. Makes the 163. It's not quite the 170 we've seen from him before. Last year, of course. Sorry, two years ago at the European Championships, he made the 170. But he has one of the oddest snatch to clean and jerk ratios. He's way over 90% in the snatch of what he clean and jerks. If he gets over 180, we'll call it a good day. Yeah, he's definitely uh, <laughs> a bit out of metal contention with those lifts, but. His best is 183 in this category, in the clean and jerk. Best snatch is 170. Yeah, that's a very. It's about very 90. 293%. Speaking of, uh, well, never mind. Oh, we he almost saw the sergeant. The sergeant made a. a In fact, I see a big crowd forming around us. I think that must be for him. Jamirci now 165. I imagine he's coming out for that. It's a five kilo jump. I don't see anyone at scores to. Oh, nope. I think we might get any change. Turkey at the scores table. So what we get here, another increase. Petrosian, yeah. now the lifter, 165. His opener, 160, was very solid. He'll get a very, very warm welcome from the crowd if he comes out for this. There he is. Yeah, here we go. Second attempt now, 165. This will be a four kilo personal best. This also equals his best in training, he told us. This is a big lift for him. Oh, uh, just a little bit forward. He cut that a little bit. You can see his hips came up on the floor a little bit fast. Didn't hold great positions to the middle. I think there's definitely a battle going on here between Demerci and Petrosian. Obviously, they've both got 160, but Demerci moved to the 66 to try and surpass Petrosian if he was going to be successful at that 65. So. Let's we'll see how that plays out. There's Marcin Pizdebski. His second in Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very slow in the pull. A slow pull and not necessarily the best turnover there. He never quite got it through. Yeah, he met the bar high and rode it down, just never was able to properly decelerate it. And it was just a bit too far out in front as well. 165 has just proven to be a roadblock for a lot of these athletes in that first half of the session. Potentially yeah. the first one to make it might be the only one that makes it at this point. Well, Zaza could be the one to do it. He's got plenty of momentum after a successful 163. Interestingly, just a small two kilo jump for him here. It's a kilo shy of his best. Oh. oh, so close. It was really nice pull and great speed, but he just swung it a little bit. Well, 
again, 1625 remains unliftable up until this point. Yep. It might take someone just going over top of it. But Petros Petrosian will have another go. He missed it on his second attempt. It is a four kilo international best for him. He's the younger, less experienced of the two Armenians. Ah, beautiful lift. Yeah. And roars from the crowd. That was everything he needed, everything he was after. He yeah. made those small changes to his technique. Finished a little bit taller. Perfect, look how close that bar was to his body. So solid. Marcin Izebski. So we'll see, has the curse been lifted? Or is it still going to prove to be a bit of an obstacle for some of these lifters? He missed it on the second attempt. One sixty six, he's made in training. Wow. Yeah. Much better. You know, he's still means it relatively high and doesn't do a great job of putting the brakes on, but yeah. it was further back behind his head on that one. Well, he's a very tall athlete, so he's pulling the bar with ease to that height, but yeah. it takes him a while to actually stabilize and fix the weight. All right, opening Huge attempt death. now for Kidzi. Yeah. 166. Yep, Georgie told us that his best snatch in training here, 200, sorry, 175. Good opener. Yeah, pretty good. He's 10 kilos from his best in competition, 176. 174. 74, my yeah. bad. Yeah, characteristic for him is his hips shooting up really high off the floor and then just opening up with his, with his back, essentially. He had a great battle last year at the European Championships against Christo Hristov from Bulgaria, who ended up just beating him. Kristoff not here this year, unfortunately, which may leave it potentially open for Georgie, although we know that Samuel Gasparian's in great shape. Second attempt now for Dimitri. Oh. Uh. Huge applause from the crowd. They are excited that he is not surpassing Petrosian. Yeah, they love a Turkish miss, this crowd. That's their version of Turkish delight. <laughs> <laughs> Which you brought us a uh, nice box of, we actually. Did, yes. Yeah, yeah. As a welcome to Armenia. Although, did you buy it in Rome? We bought it in Rome, ah. yes. Yeah. yeah, I'll take that Turkish delight every day over. Uh, a Turkish mess. <laughs> well, he's going to stay at 166 for now. He's got to stay warm. Even if he beats Petrosian in the snatch, he's got a massive uphill battle to pass him in the clean and jerk. Yeah. Uh, 
Opening attempt now for Jarrah Stav. Very smooth. Pretty good. Jaroslav's on the board now. Other than his competition at the World Champs, we haven't seen him since 2016. Competed there at the European Championships. That was his last meet prior. 177, 218. Though we don't expect him to get quite to those numbers here. Vasil Marinov might be the next athlete out from Bulgaria. Very fast lifter. Better in the snatch than he is the clean and jerk. 174 is his best. 203 in the clean and jerk. Beautiful lift. So quick. Yep. Gives a quick glance over to the Very left. Very nice. Wonder if he's just checking out to see that we saw that. Oh, we did. Well, acknowledgement to us. Don't worry about Phil. And I think he was waiting for a nod. It's his version of the down signal. Right. You know, when we say that's good, he knows. He'll glance at us. We gave him the nod right there. Yep. <laughs> Here comes the sergeant. Isargis Martirosian used to compete for Armenia. This man, I remember, snatched 190 kilos in training once. Yeah, he's a, a much stronger snatcher than Clean and Jerker. But watch how close to the top of his head this bar is about to be. So wide. Of a nervous tick. He looks up. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. That is a great way to open up for Martirosian. Yeah, it's got to be a real pleasure for him to come back to Romania here and compete and perform in front of a crowd like this. Even though he does compete for Austria, fans know where his roots are. Look at that. The bar is. Yeah. So far back. It almost looks like it's behind his head. I think it is. <laughs> when, uh, or so I mean, amazing. Yeah. Lower, lower than the top. Lower of than his head, yeah. yeah. That's why his hair's so short, I think. And there we have the father of David Fisherov, who competes for Bulgaria, coaching yes. the Armenian who now competes for Austria. That's a, a whole... Shuffling, reshuffling yeah. of nations there. Athletes moving around. And Dimitri missed his second attempt at 166 kilos. He's still going to go for 169. Loses a little bit of speed in the pull past the knee, but then just really turns it on as he finishes at the top. Crowd is very happy with that. He's only going to be credited with the 160 on his opener, so yep. and probably he's a bit too far behind to surpass Petrosian. He's not got the strongest clean and jerk, so that's unfortunately probably going to be his opportunity at any kind of medal done with. Still just one athlete to open. It's Samuel Gasparian, who we know is in great shape. We'll get to some of his training lifts shortly. 
We'll save those until he comes out. Okay, so Georgie Chikidze, second attempt, 170 kilos. Four kilos shy of his best. <coughs> but 175, he said he's made in training, so hopefully not too much of a hassle here. Watch how high his hips are when the bar comes off the ground. Better than his opener. Yeah, very smooth. Under. Making quick work of 170. Marinov had put in for 170, but I would be surprised if he takes that. He's a very good snatcher, and he knows he's got to make up ground because yeah. his clean and jerk isn't quite as strong as the other competitors. So this is a big lift for him. He said that training has been going well. 170 is the most he's made. This is 171. Oh, what a save. Yeah, that's brilliant. Wow. That's a lot of experience. This man's been competing internationally for a long time despite his break. You have to wonder what he's thinking after that. Yeah, there's not a lot more he could do to get underweight. He really had to rock back on his heels to save that one. Look at that. Catches it rock bottom. There's not a lot more he can do. 173. Yeah. Maybe I... I well, he can't repeat it, so more. he'll have to take a yeah. <laughs> some kind of increase. Here comes Sarge. So the sergeant needs oh. to prove that he so can once again get over 170. Gasparian has dropped down yeah. 172. The heaviest snatch so far in this competition has been 178. We've They've seen it twice. Twice now. Both times by an Armenian, both times by someone called Karapetian. If anyone's going to beat it before the Supers tomorrow, it's this man right here, Samuel Gasparian. He has a best snatch of 178 kilos. He told us he's made 180 in training. At the World Championships, he snatched 175. The European Championships last year, where he took the silver, he snatched 176. 175 prior to that. In fact, he snatched 175 or more at his last six competitions. Further Oop. forward, but that might just be the nerves shaking off. Yeah, he's in the lead now with 172. Now, I think I just saw in the VIP section. I could be wrong because it's been at least 10 years since he competed. I think I saw Tigran Martirosian. Oh, wow. Yeah. That would be a... He was a, a 77, wasn't he? Yeah, that'd be a phenomenal lifter. World champion. Yeah. Well, here's Marinov, 172 as well. The snatch portion so far is actually a bit closer than maybe expected. Yeah. We're getting into the low 170s here with still several attempts left. Yeah, this will be our fourth athlete to do so. You'd imagine we'll have five in there. But how many will have three reds on the bar? That's really going to separate the top one or yeah. two from the rest. Absolutely. One seventy two for Marinov. 
Beautiful yeah. lift. So fast. So good. He is happy with that one. But it's not the most that a Bulgarian has snatched in this competition. He's going to need 175 to do that. Have to surpass his teammate Carlos Nassar, who made easy work of 174 in the 89 kilo category. Junior world record. One hundred and seventy three now for Sargis. You know what? I bet he's just looking at this and thinking, I have zero chance at meddling in the total. I have even less chance of meddling in the clean and jerk. But I could medal in the snatch. Yeah. And to do that I'm gonna need probably one seventy three, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, he's currently in fifth with his one sixty eight, but this one seventy three would put him into first. He might be able to hold on to a medal with that. There'll be four challenges. Let's see how long he sits and waits here. Yeah. Constantly readjusting and glancing up. Oh, oh there we go. Can he hold it? Can he hold it? Can he hold on that bar? He's below him. the top of his head. I don't think we've ever seen him that <laughs> animated. Look at that, he's gonna soak it in. He is stunned. He is How on earth has he hold, done it? Oh uh, he's maybe hurt his back there. He's limping off. But was it worth it? I think so. Thirty-six years of age. And again, he remains in the one seventy plus club. That's extraordinary. Now, I think at first I thought he he stood there because he was soaking it in. I think he couldn't move. I think his back <laughs> I think his back had gone. Is that a Masters world record? Well, if it was in a Masters competition, it would count. Oh, it doesn't count? They won't allow it to uh, count, yeah. I think that's fair enough. <laughs> it's got to be one of the heaviest snatches done at that age. Yeah. That is so great. Okay, 173 by Georgie Chikudzi. It's a kilo shy of his best. Beautiful. Oh, that is such a good lift. Yeah, it does not get any better than that. What and you know what? He has a couple more kilos in him. Yes. But you'll notice he didn't go for 174 for the lead because he's not playing for medals in a snatch. Yeah. His eye is definitely set on the gold. He missed out last year by one kilo. He has the biggest clean and jerk on paper. He's snatching well. So he's just going to be eyeing up Gasparian. We'll just have to see how far ahead Gasparian can get. I, th I think... The Sarge is, well, we'll see after this lift. This lift will determine if uh, Sarge Martosian gets a medal in the snatch. No, no, three athletes can still beat him. Yeah. Well, oh, no. He's, no, he's he's one of them. He's got 78 there for his attempt. He's in first. Yeah, yeah, you're there's right. Only two more lifts that could pass him at this point. The sergeant walks away. <laughs> I think we're I think we're a little partial to, to seeing the sergeant. Oh wow, an injury here. Yeah, I just missed it behind. It's tough to see. I think that might be an elbow. Nope, he gives a big double biceps there. I think he's fine. Maybe he was just buying himself some time there. Well, that makes sense, because when we asked if he'd suffered any injuries, he said to us, I'm from Poland, nothing hurts me. Wow. Well, and there he, he is. He hurts he his elbow, that but perfectly. double biceps to finish off. I asked him what he focuses on in training, Max. He said, I, I just focus on finishing quickly. Okay. He just wants to get out of the gym. Get in and get out. Yeah. There's Marinov. Now, he did make a very nice looking 172, but I did think that the pull looked significantly slower. It was in the right place. He didn't have to fight for it, but a further two kilos. This is going to be right on the limit, I imagine, of what he's capable of. But it will move him into the lead. If 
he misses this, the sergeant's going to get a silver. Yeah, I think we're in an interesting battle here. Baranov very fast in this match. Oh, oh, that is beautiful. He, he made that look better. Yeah, he knows yeah. it too. What a lift there. For Vasil Marinov from Bulgaria, equaling his personal best. He's happy. Yeah. Very happy with that one. Yeah, because he's not going to be able to compete for clean and jerk medals or total medals. So the only medal he can get really is in the snatch, and he's guaranteed a silver. But. No, well, he's not guaranteed a silver, of course. Sargis does have one. Well, Surely Sargis, he's got to drop down to 176. I would be surprised if he even comes out. That's my guess. 178 is just... I think he might drop. Enormous. Come out and try and beat Gasparian. <laughs> <laughs> he has no business doing that. But I think he's going to give it a go. Here's Gasparian now. 175 kilos. This will be for the first place snatch. He made this at the World Championships on his way to earning a bronze medal. Wow. A little bit forward. I think he can make it. He hasn't yep. lifted less than this since 2019. Yeah, we've seen him in the training hall as well. He's looked very strong. See if, uh, yeah. Particularly in the clean and jerk. Yeah. Particularly in the push press. Yeah, we saw the big 190 push press wow. from him. Whether that transfers over to the rest of his total, we'll see. Now, this is interesting because he's probably going to retake that lift. Well, Sargis has moved to 75. I'm curious if this is a strategic move to give... Gasparri wow, no, he's coming play. out for this 175. He's coming out. This lift is massive. Yeah, if you aren't excited about the idea of a 36-year-old snatching 175 kilos, three reds. Look at him, he is in front of a crowd in a country he was born in. They absolutely love this man here. He's in the golden era of his career here. <laughs> You'll take note an hour. When, when he sets up, he glances up 10 times. Yeah. Makes exactly 10 adjustments. Once for every year, he's been snatching 175. I have to think everyone in this room is rooting for him to make this. This for the lead in the snatch. I think he knows it's not oh, happening. Yeah, not today. He's not going to be able to go for it. <laughs> he's taking a, a bow. He's happy. Yeah, he's still a happy man. He's going to walk away with the silver or the bronze. It depends. And you know what? You said, I wonder if he'll uh, just come out to help Samuel Gasparian. Yeah, I possibly. wonder if that was it. Occasionally yeah. we do see that. And well, I think that was out. I was, out, I was asking if that 75 attempt was really just to give Gasparian a little bit yeah. more rest. He knows he's got no shot, so. Yeah, that 173 just took it out of him. So this is a very big deal for Gasparian. He's not in medal position right now. He's a kilo behind probably his biggest competition, Georgie Chikidze. That's better. That's how you do it. Can he hold on? Yes, he can. And that's the lift that he needed. Beautiful snatch. 175 is gold medal in the snatch. Once more, he gets the three reds over his head. Vasil Marinov bumped down to the silver, but he still looked pretty happy. He was pleased. And then Sergeant Martirosian with the bronze. What a moment for the Armenian. If you're ever going to do it, do it now. Do it in Armenia in front of, I don't know how many, 4,000 fans here watching on from the bleachers. What a fantastic. Left. What a moment. That's the VIP section.
So that is the end of the snatch portion of this men's 109 kilo category. The runner-up in the snatch taking fourth, Georgie Tukidze with 173 kilos. The bronze, also with 173 kilos but made first, is the sergeant, Martirosian, 173. Second place to Vasil Marinov, one of two athletes to go three for three. He made 174. Then the gold medal by a kilo to Samuel Gasparian. It's extremely close. 171 to 175 separates fifth through first. Yeah, this session has been extraordinarily close. Every one of those athletes, bar Martirosian, will be opening up at 200 or more. So it's very difficult to say what's going to happen. My hunch is that we're going to see a battle in the final four attempts between Georgie Chukidze and Samuel Gasparian. You have to assume that they're both going to be taking lifts at 210, 215, maybe 220 yeah, Chikidze, for the win, I'd Chikidze imagine. is the stronger clean and jerker by a small amount. Yep, 219 versus 214. Interestingly, Gasparian has made 175 or more now six times. He's also clean and jerked 214 kilos as his best clean and jerk in his last four competitions. Yeah, he's, he's ripe for a, maybe a personal record now. Yep. He's ready to get those blues on, hit the 215, maybe even a little bit more. Of course, we still have one more A session today, the women's 87 kilo category, where we get to watch world champion compete to earn another European Championships title. This will be the last time we see her competing in the 87 kilo category. She informed us that she is now cutting down to 81. So we'll have to keep an eye out for her body weight, see just how much weight she's lost, if any. She seems to be just as strong as, yeah. as ever. Well, yeah. stronger, in fact. She has ample strength and reserve. We'll see what that body weight loss does to her clean and jerk, where she's definitely one of the strongest in that, cal in that class. Yeah. Or will be in the 81s, for sure. A snatch, not quite as much as some of the competitors, but it's not, it's up there. There's Georgie just getting a bit of rest. He fortunately doesn't really need to start warming up for well, you know, maybe 10 minutes or more. 11 uh, athletes there, so. Our first lifter is going to be the sergeant, but I think he's have a hunch that he may not take that 180. You think he's going to go up? No, I think yeah, I, I'm. You think I withdraw? I'm going to think he yeah. withdraws is my guess. I was going to yeah. say, I don't see him going <laughs> up. I could see a 173, 180 as a nice little total Possibly, for him. Possibly, yeah. Maybe he does come out for, for one, but definitely seemed like his back was bothering him. I wonder with an athlete like that, is he... How long is he going to keep going for? Because... You know, to some degree, you think, well, if you're meddling at a Continentals and no other country can develop a snatcher at any age who can beat you by one person or two. That's true. Then you just don't, you don't stop. But at the same time, he's 36. You know, that last lift looked very heavy. He's yeah. not really looking. He doesn't look like he's got the fire. He looks like he's here just to yeah. have a laugh. But, you know, maybe that's his whole... His whole desire. Yeah, he's dropped yeah. it down. 179. Nope, sorry. No. Some, that's uh, Tatarik has yeah, dropped down. He wants the opener. Yeah. Oh, nope. Martirosian drops down. There's a little battle <laughs> going on. They both say so they want to come out first. Martirosian 177. A now. race to the bottom here. Four kilos more than he snatched. I guess there's, <laughs> there's a question of what is the... What is the level of pride you you have to swallow to open within your your snatch? What's that number? Four kilos, I think, is by far for me the closest I've ever seen at these yeah. weights. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, even if we were watching youth forty-five kilo lifters and we saw a thirty-kilo snatch, I'd be 
shock to see a 34 kilo open and clean and jerk. Yeah. So to see that at 173 and then a 177 opener is, yeah. I mean, well, he could have probably snatched that. <laughs> That's probably Just a few true. minutes ago. That's true. <laughs> I, I'm assuming he's going to come out because he's changed the opener. He's yeah, yeah. Drawing, so. Why would he change it? 177. Marinov there just starting at 70. He's got a little bit of a ways before he's opening. He's taking 200. I imagine we're going to have quite a few athletes finishing before we even get close to that. Yep, Gasparian has put in 215. That will likely come down. Georgie Tukidze has put in 205. I imagine that will likely go up because I don't imagine he's going to be able to get away with anything under 218 kilos I'm gonna yeah. that's what I'm going to say I think 218 will be the lightest that Chikidze would need to win I reckon we might see a 220 here if both yeah, I, I could Chikidze yeah. and Gasparian are performing well it could be pushed to that number yeah they'll both have it written in I'm sure so a lot of the fans now leaving to go and get Drinks, food. Nice arty shot there in the back room. There's Petrosian. He's got... No, sorry, that's... That is... Radoslav. Radoslav, yes. Same color singlet. Uh, do you expect that that half kilo accidentally rolled like that, or did the cameraman walk in there, think I'm going to set this shot up? Well, part and just of me place it there. Part of me really hopes it was a natural occurrence, but I fear I there was augmentation of the yeah. environment for that shot. I believe so. That's 150 by the junior. That looks very easy. 195. He's written in for his opening attempt. With a personal best of 202. He didn't have the best snatch day. Just went one for three with his opener at 160. Missed 166, missed 169. It was a bold call to jump up to 169 after that miss. Three kilo jump from second to third. So not long now until we're back out. Witnessing Sargis Martirosian from Austria open up at 177 kilos. If anybody knows of an international competition where an athlete has opened up less than four kilos more than they snatch, please do let us know. The, the one that comes to mind would be... Ribikov, uh, I'm yeah, guessing. Yeah, Ribikov, but he was still about 10 kilos, yeah. eight to 10 kilos above. Well, doing a Ribikov now is, is a thing, isn't it? I remember hearing an old story of James Tatum at his first international competition. He totaled 240. He went 120, 120. Wow. But that was a national competition. Mm, correct. So that, that doesn't count. If anyone knows of anything more, send us a message on Instagram. Let us know. So 30 seconds now until we're back underway. The question on my mind is, does Martirosian come out and take this 177? Mm -hmm. I definitely want to see him make a total here. Do you think there's a chance he'll hit this and then pass this last two? I think that's likely. You because know, he was grabbing, oh, here he is, he's grabbing his back, didn't want to try the 175. Yeah, yeah. 
Let's see how he's feeling. This will be a 350 total. It's also worth wondering, you know, is there a certain total that if he hits it, he receives a different stipend or he gets a stipend from Austrian weightlifting? Lots of different things to consider yeah. with lifters, what they're going for. There's this team behind him. Very solid clean. Oh, yeah. Easy jerk. <laughs> what a great lift. So I he tell you what, the, okay. the way he's walking off isn't the uh, exit of a man who's not coming back out. No, he's just taking what he knows is there. I think we can expect him to soak up the glory on his final attempt in front of this enormous crowd. He looks a bit tired. He does. But he's still here. So we're going to see Radislav Tatarczyk out next from Slovakia. He snatched 163. This is 179. His best clean and jerk is 183 kilos. And he just snatched 7 kilos below his best. So... I think we're pushing it here with this one. Interesting to have two athletes compete who are so strong in the snatch and relatively poor in the clean and jerk. Pretty good clean, he hopped forward but he got up fine. And a power jerk that ends nowhere. Just doesn't lock out. Yep. Doesn't get the bar behind his head at all. It's an interesting choice for an athlete of that height with long legs like yep. that. It's just really nowhere to go if it pushes you down. He doesn't look like he has the greatest mobility in the upper body as well. So You have to assume it's either a previous injury or just really poor technique that prevents him from splitting. Or both. Or both. Yeah. His coach looking distraught <laughs> there. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Well, he looked so very sad. <laughs> so he's going to probably follow himself because Sargis <laughs> Martirosian has put in 190, a 13 kilo jump. Have you ever seen that thing? It's a social media sensation called Don't Let Them Know Your Next Move. <laughs> yeah. I feel like he's playing that with us right now. Well, there's the other one. The, <laughs> he uh, hit 173, the walked out for 75, and then walked away. What's the other <laughs> The other meme is the strange ways to die. Or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, we, we know he's not taking 190. Yeah, I think he is. But I it, think he might. I guess it's an odd, an odd call because... He really only needed to put in maybe 185 and then drop back down. He'll probably take 180 after this 179. He made 195. In tw he made 201 at the Olympics. Let's not forget. Maybe we're just he underestimating was a super him. Well, yeah, I remember that. He weighed in at 114 because he couldn't qualify at <laughs> 109. Oh, yeah. But he could qualify at super. He's a man who's made the most of his abilities in the yeah. sport. Yeah, and he's his longevity is incredible. Well, of course, he competed at the uh, Arnold Sports Fest in 2020. You may well have seen him there, 175, 190. Okay, second attempt. He's going to retake this. Notice the sudden arm bend at mid thigh. Just get those long arms a bit shorter. Uh, I think he's hurting. Well, now the question is, are we seeing him withdraw after that yeah. attempt? He didn't even get it past his knees. The clock is going to run down here. It didn't look 
I mean, I'd be surprised if it felt particularly heavy, considering how tall and long he is. I bet he's yeah. got an enormous deadlift. Yeah, he's probably in pain. Okay, so... Yeah, we might see him pull out. Or at least bump up for a little while. See if he wants to have another go, and then... Who knows? He remains the lifter, obviously. 179. Yeah. And he is still there waiting, so he may come out for this one. He might just need a little bit more rest, and that short pull to the knee isn't going to have tied him out. So essentially, he'll get four minutes. Although his coach yeah. now coaches are probably making a change. they're scratching. You see him. Yep. So he's out. Yeah, he has now withdrawn. Stepski Marcin is the lifter now. 185. He looks to be moving up as well, though. Yep, he's taking 65, so a little reshuffling here. Yeah, 186 for we're seeing Joseph Kola. Adjustments now. Martirosian has dropped, Sergeant, to 187. You know, based on the 177 he did, I, I think 87 is doable. Yeah. All right, Josef Kolar here from Czech Republic. One is his best recently. That looks very strong. Ooh, nice lift. Yeah. He says that his best clean is 195, but he's never jerked it. He told us he hopes to do that today. Well, he's on track. 186 as an opener certainly gives him the runway to get there. Yeah, injured his wrist in December. Hence his thicker wrist straps, I suppose. He actually used to be a squat jerker, which probably helped him with a relatively straight dip and drive. That was a little forward on that one. Mm. But he squat jerked as an 85 and 89. Then, of course, he's he said since gaining weight, he's found it very hard to squat jerk properly. And it gave him some problems with his shoulders, so he switched to the split which he referred to as terrible. Oh, a slower pull and yeah. a difficult recovery. Beautiful Very jerk, though. Nice. Well, the Polish do have tremendous overhead work. So, now 187 on the board, the sergeant making his assault <laughs> on this total 10 kilo jump from first to second <laughs> look at him he's he's working the crowd here from the the tunnel he is a little bit of crowd work not sure what he's telling them but he was sort of hitting his wrists together I'm not sure what that means no. but i think i think they like it he's going to get quite an ovation here made 186 kilos at the World Championship, so this will be a kilo more. Very easy clean. Yep. Powers up through the recovery. Ah. Uh, Just a little forward on that. Yep, just a touch out in front. Well, if he stays at this weight, he's probably going to be the only lifter there. But I don't really think he has anywhere else to go. I mean, 
He's got the next jump is going to be potentially 190 plus. The last two lifts that were made before 87 were 186s. I'd be surprised yeah. to see just a small four kilo jump. What he He's making an adjustment. There's definitely a change. Something's happening. Yeah, his coaches are changing that. You see there. Okay. So 190 is what he said. He needs the rest. Yeah. But it's not really going to give him any rest, actually. No, because he's still going to follow himself. Yeah. One minute is on the clock. So the final attempt now for one of the funnest competitors we have here, Sardis Martirosian. One of our personal favorites. Yeah. And there he is. He's hyping the crowd up. And they love it. He used to compete, of course, for Armenia years ago before moving to Austria. He's and giving a nod. Is, uh, yeah, probably the most support he'll have ever felt. More support than almost anyone will ever feel. Everyone in this room wants this lift to be successful. It's a Great clean. clean. It's got to be straight. And he I think for it. he's got it. He has done he has it. He's got it. What a lift. The sergeant Look at this. remains in the 350 plus club. What a champion. 360 plus in the total, in fact. What a class act. He Sarge hasn't Smertosian. hit that since 2021. Such a fun lifter to watch. He just lives off the, the energy from the crowd. 36 years of age, 173, 190. He just soaks it in. Joseph Kolar from Czech Republic with 191 now in his second. Very strong clean. Whoa, whoa, oh, he's fighting. wow. He slipped a little bit in the yeah. back foot to get recovered. He looks at the ground there, looks at the platform. Maybe some chalk left over. He slid on it, but he's got that lift. Well, he said he really wants to hit 195. He fought for that. Positions him in a great spot to take that 95. That lift was two kilos shy of his best. So Marcin is Debski now. His recovery in the last clean was a little bit tough, a little bit heavy and slow in the stand, but great footwork and positions in the jerk. Ooh, yeah, tough clean. Yeah, just no energy for the jerk. Yeah. And he's in a tough position because he can't really bump up anywhere to buy himself a bit more time. He'd need to move up at least to 195. So he'll probably just have to retake this, take the two-minute clock. So that looks very heavy. Yeah, that's going to be really difficult. If he does go for the two kilo, or sorry, the one kilo, he would potentially bring out Honor de Mercy, but I don't think he's going to take 92. All he'd have to do is bump to three. 
but they are cleaning the platform. We'll buy him a little more time. The two minute clock hasn't even started yet. And now the clock begins. Six athletes still to open. Five of them at 200 or more. Marinov, the silver medalist in the snatch, is 200 and then. Zaza Lomtadze, 203. Georgi Dukidze, 205. And then the two Armenians have the heaviest openers. Petrosian at 210. Gasparian at 215. I expect both of those numbers will come down a little bit. Fortunately, Ono dropped in weight, which has bought his Debski a bit of time. Oh, difficult, C clean. Oh, but a powerful jerk. Great jerk. Yeah, he caught that clean a little off balance, had to make an adjustment. Normally he likes to rack the bar and bounce right out of the hole. On that one, though, he was forced to stabilize it before he could stand up. Yeah, he's 10 kilos shy of his best still, but clearly not in his best shape right now. He hit 205 in training. is going to be very tough. He's going to have to somehow find an extra gear on the recovery of the clean. Better clean, though. Oh, <laughs> very close on yeah. that jerk. It just better attempt. wasn't locked out, Paul. Wasn't stable. Yeah. So we're now approaching the mid 190s. We still have five athletes to open at 200 or more. Just one lifter here, owner De Mercy. Joseph Kolar back and forth. We'll see here. Turkey's moving up. Wow. Turkey moved to 200, an eight kilogram increase. Brings out. Wow. Well. Kolar. Who will take this? As I mentioned already, he told us that he's cleaned it in training, never jerked it, but today's the day he wants to do it. I'd be surprised if he didn't clean it once more now, but that jerk it just gets a little bit too far forward. He's feeling good. Gives, gives a wave to in spot our someone in the crowd. Yeah. It might be us, actually. Yeah, it was in our direction. It was. Great clean. He's got 200 in there. Oh. oh, he went for it, but wasn't there. Yeah. Just a little bit more than he's able to to make. So that puts an end to Joseph Kolar's competition here. 157, 191. So far, everybody has surpassed quite easily the 
winning total from the B group, 153, 181, 334 is the total. So up to 200 now with Vasil Marinov. Very big opener for him, but he's in good shape. His best is 203. So six lifters, all with 200 or more. Very comfortable clean. Straight yeah. to the jack, a little bit. Yeah. Slow to push his head through yeah. after his feet land. Not the most convincing jerk, even one red light as well. Little jury stop there. Yeah, I think he might lose that. Yeah, let's take a look. It, it looked slow, but I'm not convinced it was the elbows as much as it was just a little slow to finish driving the head through. Yeah, that right arm might have been yeah. not quite there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah his right sure. elbow, yeah. Fortunately. Yeah, the angle that he catches it is definitely different to what he's holding when he stands it up at the end. go they're going to give the call so he does lose well they, ha they haven't taken it from him yet we haven't seen it on the scoreboard still jury has been a little bit slower here than we've seen at other competitions they've got a little more technology to draw lines on the screen and can show all those watching on the live stream what actually the call was for, what violation it is. So yeah, it has been taken away. Mitchie will now come out for a second attempt. Big eight kilo jump. He made tough work of that clean jerk though. As we've seen with a lot of the Turkish athletes, he's very strong. Big oh. hop forward. Double wow. bounces to get up. Oh, and my sticks word. the jerk. What a fight. That is the most impressive jerk after such a difficult yes. clean. I think we've seen. It wasn't just a normal double bounce. He attempted to stand up for as long as he could on the first. He came to a halt only because he didn't have the strength. Came down, re-attempted it in a slightly different direction. Came what up a, through. What a great move. And then a beautiful, powerful jerk there. Surely his, his maximum. Marinov will reattempt this 200. His opener, he got overhead, but with one red light, the jury then intervened and took the lift away from him, calling for a press out. If successful, he moves into the lead. The first person to move ahead of Martirosian. Again, easy clean. Oh, that's much yeah, better. Much better jerk. Yeah, far more convincing. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, 
the only Bulgarian weightlifter not to be covered in tats. Yeah. Actually, I believe. Well, his body is a temple. Yep. So I think we're probably going to see the opening attempt now for Zaza Lomtadze after a few changes from some other lifters They'll come out. So they're just giving the bar a quick clean, but he is now ready and waiting. Twelve we've seen from him before. Oh, oh dear. A, a bit odd there. I'm not sure what happened. Something doesn't feel right. No. Maybe. Was it, did he reach for his groin or yeah. was he going for the belt? It or? looked like he reached for his groin. Asanidze confused. Yeah. I don't think he knows what happened. I'm not sure Lomtadze necessarily even knows what happened there. Yeah, a bit strange. It, it looked so sudden that, or maybe he was, he was passing out there. He had him on his back laying down with his heels up, his feet off the floor. Yeah, I think might have Maybe he was blacking out. Yeah, they just sprayed him, sprayed his face with water, rubbed his ears, which I don't know why, but it does seem to wake you up a little bit. Pinch of the ears. Make an adjustment to the weight. I think they're asking for 203 now. This 203 would bring up Georgie Chikitsi for his opener. Seemingly low, he actually moved his 205 yeah, down. Yeah, very there. light. I'm wondering if they've just done this, maybe to buy Zaza some time. I would not be surprised if Asanidzi saw what was happening and just ran over to the board and made this adjustment just to give both athletes as good an opportunity as possible. Assuming he makes at least a second attempt, this drop down won't be too much of a problem to his overall plans. This will put him in the lead. Easy clean. Ooh. I think he's going to get... Jerk. Pretty good jerk. Pretty good jerk. He's forward on that. No, that's all good. Well, you know, he's made 219, but... He's also blacking out a little bit he here. He doesn't look good. He's losing consciousness there. He's got the support of the doctor. Yeah. So, 203 stays in the bar. Still, two more athletes left to open. Petros Petrosian and Samvel Gasparian, both at 210 or more. We still have four athletes with this 203 or more mm -hmm. mark. Lomtadze started pulling on the first, but walked off. Here he is again. Great clean. 
right into wow. a solid jerk. I'm so surprised that yeah. first one didn't go, but that was very comfortable with his, within his abilities. Yeah, so much easier, just night and day. In the back of my mind, I wondered if the 203 initially just felt a bit heavy, but seeing as how he moved that, not a lot of height on the bar, though. Just very fast center, but the jerk was with authority. So, George Tukidze is in the lead. Marinov is in the silver. Lomtadze, bronze, but the two Armenians still to lift. So and also a few final attempts from some other lifters. I would be stunned if Erna could make this lift after just how incredibly difficult his second attempt at 200 kilos was. This will be a two kilo personal best as well. But if he catches the right bounce on the first attempt. Yeah, he could make this. left for the young Turkish lifter. The only junior. Wow, just like you said, That's great fair. bounce, great recovery. Oh, my word. jerk. That really is heroic. I think he's going to have to be careful I with the way he lowered the bar. It's three white lights. What you know what I mean? He sort of made it and then yeah. bent his knees and and just let it go and turn it into a bit of a bar slam. He looks so, so excited to have made it, and I think they're gonna let him walk away with it. Yeah, such a great attempt, though. I mean, these positions are extreme. That quick the, bounce. The layback after contact. Incredible, and that jerk is just so strong. Wonderful lockout. 2.04. Gives him the lead and the cleaner jerk, but he will not walk away with any other medals. Probably not even that one. Chikidze's moved up to 210. Marinov 205. This will be a personal best for him by two kilos. Good, clean. Very comfortable. Uh, straight into the jerk yeah, and was not there. Sometimes he just has that power and speed, and other times it looks tremendously difficult. Yeah. So that's Marinov out. He is in the silver medal position right now, but two lifters to come out. But, you know, he's so far ahead of. Petrosian so after the snatch. Petrosian would have to make a big cleaner jerk. Could see here drop down to 208. A bit low. Yeah, you have to wonder why. Well, we still haven't seen Gasparian make no. a change to his first. That 215 is a bit misleading on the board there. He is coming out. He made 219 at the World Championships. I will say he looks a little bit slimmer in the face. I'd be surprised, but is it possible he's making a drop to 102? Oh, that's true. I hadn't thought of that. That might be why we're seeing these numbers just a bit, bit lower than at the World Championships. 210 is the most he's made in training this year, he said.
kicks to clean. Easy. Wow. And a very solid jerk as yeah. well. Very, very comfortable. You can see some Georgian fans sat just directly above some of the Georgian athletes in the crowd there. He's on the ground as well. Yeah. I didn't actually see how he went down. Did he just lie down and then the doctor came up? Yeah. Definitely looking very faint. He's coming up now. And he springs up. A little bit of a jump there. So that bodes very well for Gasparian. and he was probably expecting a bit of a battle in the cleaner drive, but perhaps not. Here comes the first of the two Armenians, Petros Petrosian. Now, is there a world in which... Yes, there is. If he makes this, he moves into silver, which then will become bronze, of course, at some point. Kasparian has also just dropped down to 211. He's recognized Kukizzi's shape and realized he maybe doesn't need to be quite so crazy with his opening attempt. This is an 8 kilo personal best for Petrosian. Oh, it's tough. Crashed on him. Unbelievable. Very strong jerk. After a clean like that. You know, he reset his grip, dropped the elbows. Then he paused for so long, I, I thought he might just let it go. No belt on. Very impressive jerk. Yeah. He's put himself in a great position there. The mascots are absolute menaces in the building. Okay, here he comes. The man who is looking for the gold. All three of them he wants. Last year, he took the silver medal at the European Champs. Oh. It's a little bit tough. But he's got a very powerful drive. Catches that bar so high. Looks right to left. He that knows he's is very lead. possibly the winning lift. I, I don't know, actually, I fancy Jokidzi for a 2.14. Yeah, that very would possible. do it. I could see that. I mean, we saw him power clean and push press 180, and then he loaded 190. Was it a power clean? I think it was a. It, it was basic. I mean, it was yeah. very low, but he power clean and push press 190, which is. Absolutely monstrous. Ramtadze here with 213. Had a very rough go of the clean and jerks to start. This is an attempt to move into bronze. If he makes it, he will bump Petros Petrosian down. Petrosian looked pretty heavy with that opening 210. So this could actually be for the bronze if he's able to make it. So far down in the snatch, but his cleaner jerking does look good. Very fast, and oh. he's just up with it. Grinds it out. Oh my word. I think he's done it. 
Wow. That what is a, a stunning lift. A perfectly chosen weight. What an Just incredible, enough incredible to momentarily fight. move in. Yeah. I wasn't sure he was going to make that one off to such a tough clean. That was an absolutely shocking attempt. Look at this. Such the depth. The fight to hold that jerk. So, Gasparian's got 216. Chikidze with 215. Petrosian 214. This would take his third place position back. They need to take off the blues. The loaders yep. are mistakenly put on. I mean, Petros doesn't need this. No, sorry, he does need this. Yeah, he absolutely needs this. He's currently in fourth. This will move him to third. This will guarantee him a medal. Yeah, and both the total and the clean and jerk. That first clean was tough. He stepped yeah. forward, looked a bit hard. Maybe he was just out of position, though. Huge lift here, 214. Oh, better clean, yeah. actually. Uh, oh, my word. You just cannot bet against the Armenians in this competition. Wow. They really turned up in full force for their home European championship. Lomtadze is bumped down to fourth. What an incredible fight back and forth. So, Chikidze will come out for the same weight now at 214. Of course, he outsnatched Petrosian by eight kilos, so this isn't to do with him. This is to do with Gasparian. Although, if he misses this, Petrosian could go for 217 to bump Chikidze down to bronze. This for the lead, though. Five kilos shy of his best. Four kilos more than he's made in the gym this year. Seven kilo jump from his second attempt. It's a good Six clean. Under. Uh. Oh, and he collapses to the ground. He looks very low in energy. He's yeah. not moving. He's getting his belt off to lift his legs up now. Get the blood back. His hands are on his head. Wow. So he made a great attempt at it, but yeah, not there. So we 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 all but know the results now. It will be a Gasparion gold medal, but Petros has a chance at bumping Jakudze down to bronze and moving up into the silver medal position himself. It could well be an Armenian one and two. You know, if the Armenians are this sort of shape, I'm just thinking to myself, what's Lalian gonna do? Yeah, great point. He snatched 215 at Worlds. I don't want to say 220, but... <laughs> that's, a, that's a monster number. I didn't know if anyone else would ever do that. So Petros, Petrosian, a massive 217 attempt. 
This will be to move up ahead of Georgie Jakudzi by one kilo. Moving into the silver. Gasparian awaits. He's under it and he's, he's up. Clean. His jerk looks strong. He's shaking, he's stepping forward. Oh, oh so close. Yeah, it was just too heavy, too much. He does stay in third, though. But you wait until next year when he puts a belt on. <laughs> He's going <laughs> to fly above the rest. So two attempts remain. Gasparian has the gold in the snatch, the gold in the total, but the bronze in the clean and jerk. But he wants 220. He doesn't need this. But 220 is a weight that he's had in his mind for a long time. This man is really a 102 kilo lifter. But of course, they bumped him up to the 109s so that the other 102s could uh, get their own medals. And they made the right choice. This Huge personal record for him. It equals his best in training. Oh, he's fast and he's up with it. Right into it. Oh, my word. He holds over and he leaps over the chalk pocket. Wow. A little tribute, perhaps, to, to Yurt Vardanian, the greatest Armenian weightlifter ever. What an incredible, spectacular end. And he's going to pass on his third attempt. We'd be stunned if he came out for it. But that is just absolutely immense. And I love the little jump at the end. A little yeah. tribute to the late Vardanian. A little nod to the history that the rich history of weightlifting that this country has. Chance of Gasparian erupt from the crowd. This really is a truly magical moment. Yeah, what a fantastic event. We've never seen a turnout like this at a, certainly not a continental championships. I've never seen a crowd like this in my life in weightlifting. And we'd be stunned if he came out for this. The way that he celebrated it just was a storybook ending to that competition for him. What I don't understand is how he drives the bar so high in the jerk. He barely drops under. He doesn't bend his back knee. Well, possibly comes from that 190 push press. Yeah. Fantastic yeah, definitely. performance for him. Yeah, that's absolutely incredible. Yeah, he has scratched his last attempt. So the bronze medal in the 109s to Armenia. 165, 214 to Petros Petrosian. The silver to Georgi Jokidze, who took the silver medal last year. 173, 208. And the gold medal, 175, 220 to Samuel Gasparian. For the second time in his career, he is the European champion. We're going to be back in half an hour with the women's 87 kilo category where we get to see the return of the world champion from Norway, Solfred Koanda. We'll see you there.